Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Erin. If you're new, it's so great to have you here. Today, Mary and I are going to be reviewing the new Able collection of shorts. We have some of the seamless shorts and whatever Mary got, I'll let you know that here because I'm not entirely sure what she bought. Um, but I'm going to be reviewing my first pair of shorts from Able. This is the first time I've purchased anything from them. So most of my opinions are going to be based on how they compare to other athletic shorts that I bought in the past, like Gymshark or the Airy Offline shorts or Balance or any of those. So I'm just gonna see how I like these comparatively. I believe they were a little bit less expensive than some of the other brands. So I hope that I like these ones and that they fit great because obviously I would like to save some money and find a brand that fits well and works well and is cute and is also a little less on the pricey side because your girl is trying to save up for a wedding so also I apologize if you hear like a swishing noise in the background I just started the dishwasher like 30 minutes ago so it's still going strong and making a little noise so sorry if that's annoying but hopefully it's not showing up very much in the audio but anyways, let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you what I got first. So they come in these little bags, which is nice. They're all protected from the elements inside the box, you know? All right, so this is the back. I just got these navy shorts. Really cute. Actually, I like the little detailing on the sides. That's very cute. And they feel comfy from what I can tell. They feel stretchy and soft. And so let's try them on. She nasty. Wanna get with your boy cause I'm flashy. Oh, okay, here we have them. These are actually really freaking cute on. So they fit pretty perfectly, honestly. They're like tight, but just the right amount of tight. I was worried when I opened the package that they were going to be way too small because just the look of the shorts themselves looked way tinier than anything else that I have. And these are a medium and I'm usually in between a small and a medium so if I haven't bought from a brand before I'll usually buy a medium because I would rather have them be a little bit too big than too small because if a pair of shorts is too small I'm just not going to wear it but if it's a little bit too big I don't really care I'll still wear it. But these actually are really stretchy and kind of just hug your waist and thighs and butt perfectly. So I love a lot of the newer gym wear brands. I know these aren't technically new, but like compared to the ones that have been around forever, like Nike and Adidas and everything, I love that they kind of cater to different body types a lot of the times because with older brands, I found that nothing ever really fit my body right. Like it would, everything I bought, I swear, would gap in the waist and then be like way too freaking tight in the thighs. And these are just amazing. I don't know if it's just because they're so stretchy or the actual fit, but I really like how they fit. And the waistband is pretty thick. I don't know if you can even, you can't really tell, but it's definitely got a thick and comfortable waistband, so even on days that you feel more like bloated or want it to like suck you in a little bit more, I feel like that definitely would happen with these. And they give you enough room to breathe, like in the butt and thighs area. So I feel like I could easily like do a workout in these. Like, we'll see if they're squat proof. Let's just go for it. I'm guessing these will be swap, squat proof because they feel pretty thick and they're also a dark color, so that's usually what you need. Okay, I just watched that back. They definitely look squat proof to me, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like those did the job. I could definitely easily wear these on leg day, which is a plus for shorts. 
Overall, I think these are really cute. They're really comfortable. I like the material a lot. Like it's not extremely soft, I guess. Like it's not buttery soft, but it's a comfortable material. It's stretchy, so you can wear it any day of the month. Like it's not gonna be one of those pairs of shorts that you can only wear when you're feeling your best and your most like sucked in and have been like hitting the gym often. You can wear these anytime. Like after you just had dinner and had a food baby, throw these boys on because they just feel like they're really gonna like stretch out to be able to accommodate any state that your body's in at the moment. And I like that, definitely a fan. Would I buy these again? Yes, definitely. I'm 100% gonna buy more from this brand. Um, I really wanna try out more of their apparel. Like I wanna try out some leggings, some sports bras, everything. I have a good feeling about these and so far have had a really good experience with them. I'm gonna wear them to work out later this weekend and I'll see how that goes if it goes poorly or anything that I just said in this video ends up not being the case when I actually work out in them. I'll definitely film a follow-up and add that on before, but assuming you don't hear anything else from me in this video, that means that they worked great at the gym and I liked them. So I will leave the rest of this video to Mary to review her purchases. I think she bought more than me. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments and seeing you in future videos. See ya. Hey, so it's the next day. I have an update on these shorties. Um, I really like them. I wore these to go on a long walk and have just been wearing them around all day and they're really freaking comfy. The only complaint I have with these is that they tend to like ride up a little bit in the back, like right here when you're walking a lot, which I don't think is the shorts ball. I think that's more just the fact that they're like shorter bike shorts. And I think that any shorts this length would kind of ride up in the back when you're walking around. So other than that, they've been incredibly comfy, incredibly soft, and I have no other complaints. So what's up guys? Welcome back to the VV channel, AKA Vitality Vixens. Um, we're here coming at you with another um, clothing company review for sportswear slash gym wear. It's called Able, A B excuse me, A-Y-B-L. Um, they have a mission of being able to do whatever you want, you know, not not whatever you want, but being able to do you, you know, that's how I take it. Whether you're, you're skinny or you're a little bit thicker, you know, whatever, they want you to be able to be yourself, be a purpose, be able to do whatever you need to do in their workout equipment wear. Crushing it right now with the explanations, but Aaron and I, um, I um, knew about this company earlier from you know Instagram influencers and whatnot, and so I have several pairs of their spandex shorts, which I am not not a huge fan of. Like not not like ugh, I am a medium fan for the company, but I just 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 got Aaron onto it, and so she just purchased some. So we're doing a review. All right, moving right along into the first piece. Um, I have two categories, I think, for this collection is the, I call it the ombre spandex shorts, I'm not sure what they call it, and the regular spandex. I'm crushing it today, crushing it. Uh, first up though, I have this beautiful yellow color. Okay, I love yellow, and I loved yellow especially last year. I don't know why I've always loved yellow, but yellow looks good on you when you're tan especially. I've noticed when you're pale, it kind of just washes you out. But anybody should get this if they love yellow. Now, it's a bit see-through, and I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna tell you that, I mean, it's not 100% squat proof. I probably would wear this, and I think I only have worn this on upper body days when I am not doing anything crazy with my legs. But they are comfortable, they are soft, they have a thick waistband, 
not super thick that it's super uncomfortable and it's definitely very stretchy. I am not opposed to this. They are like the longer bike short situation, but they're not too long, but they're crazy. And I don't have to hike them up, but I'm gonna say, aside from being see-through a little bit, not swap proof, that they um, are so stretchy and they're so not compression-y that um, they ride up. And I actually add a clip of me wearing the lavender color, which I'm gonna show next, doing some squats. They just, they just roll on up. They're rolling down the gravy train on these ham hawkers and they definitely can't can't handle these thicker than snicker thighs, which is totally fine. They don't bother me. I typically, like I've showed, said in my other videos, I typically like to wear them around here. The fabric in the middle doesn't necessarily bother me. They will show a camel toe, which I sported that at a pickleball tournament the other weekend, which to each their own. It didn't bother me, but it bothered other people. Just note that. Um, they do, you know, like I said, they will have the extra fabric. I have a medium in all of these. I think maybe a large in some. I'll have, to, I'll have to show you, but typically wear a medium. They're not too tight. They don't squeeze my legs to death, which I love, but they will, they will do a little roll situation like this when you're being active. Um, so it doesn't entirely matter if you're going to roll them up or not. I know that I've played in the black pair that I can't find right now, but I played in a black pair and it, and it did this situation and I was comfortable with it like this, playing in a pickleball tournament. Um, and they don't show too much bum. I think they're a good pair. They just note that they do not stay on your legs if you're especially thicker in the thighs. But here's the yellow. And I will show you the other two colors that I have. Here is the lavender that I wore the other day. So it, it will show a nice camel toe if you get going. There it is, yep. Um, don't need to fret on it too long, but these do roll up. I think, I think these are a medium. I think I have a medium in all the ombre colors. Um, they definitely make your legs look good. I'm not opposed to that, you know what I mean? Everybody wants to know. Everybody wants them to look good. They don't have any like bone accentuation, so you kind of gotta work with that on your own. I probably even, I think I did this the other day, I rolled it down like this because it was getting bothersome on the waist because it's so high. Um, but I probably just need a size down and just died on my own air. But otherwise, here's the color up close. It's almost, almost could be a gray color, like a gray purple. Otherwise, she is pretty cute. And this is the last color I got in this collection. It is this gray black color. So, um, I completely lied, I guess. So I got these all in a large. Every single one of these pairs is a large, which makes a whole lot more sense. They might fit better if they were a medium. They might stay down on my legs more. They might be a little bit tighter. They might have a little less fabric. So um, I can't entirely say how they would fit. I think the one reason though I did size up is because it's a UK company. So Gymshark is a UK company, but this is from in, in European somewhere. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's a UK company coming from London I'm pretty sure and so my experience from <clears throat> buying from UK companies like Australia not not a UK company but overseas company is that they typically have a smaller scaled size than Americans because we're here for the obesity you know what I'm saying so I think my thought process was oh they're a UK company, I need to size up because they, everything typically runs smaller, which I don't think is the case for this company, honestly. I think, at least for the, the two items that I have from there, I think you could pass with going with your size. Because especially with this ombre, it's definitely forgiving, it's not too tight, very stretchy, very comfortable, and it even has, on the large, a little looser fabric. Now that being said, I mean, I probably bought these two when I was about 8 or 10 pounds lighter. so. You know, being a woman, you fluctuate in size depending on the year, depending on the month, depending on the day, depending on your mood, you know. Um, so I would say that I'm, I would still keep these larges and maybe try a medium in the future if I was to try it. But that all being said, just know it's a UK company from London or Europe or wherever, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Oh my gosh, you wouldn't think I was 27. That being said, so these are a large, so they're gonna have the extra fabric, but 
Um, if you see any of my Gymshark reviews, you'll see that I wear medium and all those things and they still have extra, extra fabric, so you're just gonna have to take it to each your own. You're just gonna have to experience it, use these reviews, and try to base your options off of what you've been heard and told about. Anywho, the, this is the ombre. That wraps it up. I, for there, I have the, to review, I have the black, yellow, and the lavender. Black, I think this is gray, but black, yellow, and lavender, and I absolutely love, love, love these. I think it comes in a beautiful orange color and a turquoise blue and maybe a pink, if you're lucky. And allergy season is kicking my arse. Kicking it. It's taking my lungs and crushing it under its might and throwing it on the ground and saying, you're gonna not get your crap together and you're gonna act sick. I'm tired of it. And Nashville is so freaking bad about it because we sit in a bowl. We sit in a bowl and all this wind and chaos comes and sits down in it and it just spreads across the city. Then you get a storm and it rains and it thunders and it's blowing wind all around and it gets pollen all in the air. And then you're stuck with crap like this. Rant over. We're gonna move on to the last thing that I don't know what they're called. Wouldn't you know it, the UK is its own special country. And I, uh, somebody needs to get me into a geography class ASAP because I thought Australia was in the UK, which I know is Anyways, I found that out because right here on the label, look it, it says, designed in the United Kingdom. Anyways. This, um, these next two pieces are the, I, th I like to call them the original spandex from Abel. Um, these are what attracted me to them. I don't think any of these pieces also are really expensive. I think they're anywhere from like 15 to 30 bucks, which is pretty, pretty decent, you know, for a sports athletic short. These, I call them the original, I call them the originals. Ugh, I will have to add up here at the top what they're actually called. Um, but I have these in this color, a navy and a black, and I cannot find a black to save my soul. I've moved uh, several times in the last four years that I've had these, so I can't entirely tell you where things are. Moving on from that. This is the maroon color though, so I call them the originals not only because I think this is one of their first ones that come out, but not a lot of things have seams anymore. So <clears throat> these have a seam up the front and the rear. With, a, with an accent label right here on the back, on the middle back, middle, lower back. And the waistband is thin, very, very thin in comparison to other things, and especially in comparison to the ombre. You wanna take a look at that. She thick, she thin. Um, I have worn these, like I said, at a pickleball tournament. They all do the thing. They all do the ride up game. But I think even if I was at the gym, I would do the write-up game there too. You know, they're about mid mid thigh length, which is a pretty good thigh length. But you know, you're doing activities, you're running around. They don't move too too much, to be completely honest. And it could be because they're a large. They're not as compressiony. They're not as tight. They're a little bit looser. But I still hike them up, and they would still do a roll if I did enough squats in a row. Um, I can't, and they do. They do the camel toe thing too, but. I mean, to each their own. I'd still probably roll these down if I got bothered. They're a little bit tight for that, I think, but I think overall they're okay. I'd still hike them up about here to do my daily living activities. Honestly, these are probably one of my more favorite spandex shorts to wear besides some of the Doomshark pieces. Um, they don't bother me. They're plenty stretchy. They're even a little compressiony if that's what I needed, but they don't bother me overall. But here is the blue pair as well. Honestly, if this, if you are new to the, um, excuse me, if you are new to the athletic wear world, I would say this would be a good company to start with. They're a little bit on the cheaper side. Um, they would cut, be coming from Europe, so they would take a little bit longer. Shipping is, it's pretty ridiculous. It takes anywhere from 10 to 14 days, but I mean, it is expected. Uh, mail it nowadays is slower, but I would not knock these guys. Um, the only down thing, I think I have two downfalls on them, is that I, I did buy a pair of their leggings. I bought a camo legging from them, and um, they were too tight. I think I bought a medium, actually, and they I got like their coral camo. And I was like super in love with the color. It was like a peachy coral color. I was like, yes, these are it. 
I put them on. I couldn't, like, I could, I should have probably known. I should have probably taken them off right then and there. I wore them to the gym. Um, they were tight. They were just very, very compressiony, not very stretchy. You know, some things are like that. And so I did, they have a, had a seam up the rear, but in an, and with a bum accentuation. But I mean, sometimes those things, you know, can be kind of tight and bothersome. So I was hiking them up a lot, like trying to get them situated. And I pulled them a little too tight and got a hole. Pull the hole in the leggings. So I didn't, I honestly didn't waste my time doing return because returns take forever. So I just gave them the goodwill. I guess that's my only downfall that I have on that front. And then if you are to have to return things, they are pretty immediate with their responses, but um, sometimes, um, sometimes they can be slow just because they're um, all the way in Europe. But that is about it. Um, they, I can't, I mean, I'm not trying to down them, I'm not trying to bash them, they're, you know, it is what it is, shipping is tough, things take longer, responses sometimes get lost, etc. But, um, their spandex shorts are, are fire, so I'm not gonna not knock them for that because they are, they are way too good. Oh, hold on, Rambo's gotta get up. Ugh. Here I am. Anyways, so, that... That leads me to show you guys this last and final piece. I bought this um, last time around. I bought this cropped tee that I love. I wore it actually with a different pair of leggings because it was colder that day. And oh my gosh, it flattered so well. So it's a shorter, longer sort of crop tank. So it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. So freaking cute. I wore it for a leg day. It was adorable. I think I wore it with a taupe and with this bra I think a taupe and black situation oh my gosh it was way too cute I was admiring it in the bathroom I went and it worked out and admired it some more I was super into myself wearing this they have these in several colors uh, and they're soft it's just a super cute situation that y'all need to get on so I would not, I would not skip out on this company. This company is excellent as far as making excellent sportswear. Um, they're a little on the cheaper side. The only downside is that they're from uh, across the seas. But hey, they have a great, great label and they have a great purpose behind their name. And I would 100% back them on that. I mean, look at this cute outfit. It's me. It's me in the dance. I gotta be stopped. Anyways, that concludes my review on Able, um, A-Y-B-L. Check them out if you would like. They are excellent. Um, if you want to see more of this, comment below in our comment section, or if you have any more questions, comments, concerns about what we talked about today, you can mention that below and we'll get back to you. Please like and subscribe. We would love, love, love it if you did. Um, we're here to make the best content we can for y'all, and you need your feedback and your follows, of course. Support, support, support. Anyways, I hope y'all have a good night. It is uh, dang near 2 a.m. here, so I should probably get to bed and let my neighbors do what I want to hear and see. Y'all take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.